I'm Jim Hammond with Argus Analyzers, and we're here today to talk about the operation of the Argus Professional Series Battery Tester. The whole key to this tester right here is this little piece of paper, the printed test report. It shows all of the results of the five tests that the Argus Tester performs. We've got the state of charge test. State of charge is important because the results of any test are going to vary based on how charged the, the battery is. Second is the battery life or capacity test. We compare the specification in cold cranking amps to the measured cold cranking amps that we test in the battery. The third is the cranking health test. This Argus specific test uses the load of the engine to see how hard or how easy it is for the battery to turn over the specific engine that it's attached to. And the last two tests are electrical systems tests. These tests look at the diode ripple of the alternator to make sure that the alternator is working properly and the voltage. Is the charging voltage too high or too low? And all of these five tests are printed out on this little uh, printed test report here. It's excellent practice to have a preventative maintenance mindset when it comes to batteries, just like hoses and belts, because you want to replace a battery before it fails out there in the world. You're going to like the Argus tester here in that it's a very fast test. It takes less than 10 seconds to be looking at data. It's also a very easy tester to use, so fast and easy to use. Let's take a look at how it operates now. So in, in doing the test here, we want to make sure that we've got excellent connection quality between the clamps and the battery itself. Argus runs a 100 amp load test, so it's very important to have good connection quality um, at the clamps. Now the tester is gonna ask us three questions. The first is, what kind of battery is this? Wet, maintenance free, or VRLA, valve regulated lead acid, which is an AGM style battery. This battery here is a wet battery, so I'm gonna choose wet. The second question is the rating standard. We can choose SAE, which is the cold cranking amp standard or CCA standard. We can also choose DIN, EN, or IEC. Lastly, we can scroll to the left and right to enter the rating for this specific battery. For the battery we're testing here, the rating is 550 CCA. The first page of data is the state of charge page. The tester is going to automatically correct for this non-standard state of charge. It'll also correct for a non-standard temperature as well. And we are now on the BL page. BL stands for battery life. And this page of data shows us the cold cranking amp rating that we entered, 550. It shows us the cold cranking amp measured is 548 CCA, which is 98% battery life remaining. And it gives us a nice icon with a check mark in it showing us that this battery is in fine shape. Now down here in the corner, we've got a key that's flashing, asking us to start the engine. And we're gonna be able to do the rest of the tests, the cranking health test and the electrical systems tests after starting the engine. We want to turn on the lights or the fan to make sure that the alternator kicks in. We can turn the engine off. We come around here and automatically the cranking health page is showing. This test shows 60% cranking health, which is still pretty good, and that during the engine start, the lowest measured voltage was 7.74 volts. Again, the cranking health test is a great relative test of the battery, measuring how hard or how easy it is for the battery to start the engine. On the bottom of the display is a battery icon, and for a good battery, it will have a check mark in that icon. For a bad battery, it will have an X in it, and for a marginal battery, it will flash between the two. Next to the battery on the bottom is a sine wave with a circle around it indicating that the alternator is good. This is good diode ripple and good voltage regulation. If the alternator is bad in any way, there'll be this sine wave with a circle around it and then a line through it. On the far right, there are two icons that will show you high charge. The icon indicates that the charging voltage is too high and for low charge, 
and charge and retest, you'll see a battery icon with about a half charge to it. Now we press and hold the right arrow key and we'll have the test results here to show our customer.